Alright, so I have a pretty big video with a lot of stuff to show you because um, this is all the gaming pickups that I have picked up since I've last made a gaming related video. Which, this is quite a bit because I've actually, um, there was a store that had quite a bit of stuff recently, so I kind of picked up a bunch. We'll start off, excuse me, start off with this one right here. This is the uh, Joy Card, focus on that one. The Joy Card Sensui SSS. And your first glance, you're going to look at it and go, looks like the Japanese Famicom. And then you'll be correct. It, 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 it looks like a Japanese Famicom controller. Besides that it's silver and gray, uh, um, in contrast to, um, you know, the Famicom was like a reddish color with the white, and then there was the metal piece like this. However, this is not the Famicom controller because, as you can see here, this is an NES port. Um, yep, there's the NES port. But another interesting thing is, just like the Japanese Famicom one, it has volume in it as well. Um, which, if you look right here, there is the headphone jack, see, phone. And there's also another uh, switch here, which is sound shift off and then it's on. Basically when it's on, depending on where you are on the dude, like if you're going right, the sound kind of mimics a pseudo, go pseudo, 3D uh, sound with, you know, what side the dude's on, depending on where he is on the game. In some games it kind of works pretty good, some it's kind of weird, so I shut off depending on the game. Um, so how that works is basically, you know, this one goes into the NES and then this thing right here goes in on a little red spot on the, the audio output on the side of the NES, so that's pretty neat. And then you can go over, sit in your seat, and plug in your headphones and enjoy the game. Um, like, this would have been useful, like, I was, you know, you know, I used to sneak downstairs and you'd go play the NES and then you didn't want, you'd want to hear the thing, but you wouldn't want to hear the TV loud. It'd be kind of cool, you know, back in the day, having one of these. Um, and you could sneak downstairs and play the NES, but then you could plug in your headphones and be quiet. But it also could be dangerous because if you're suddenly walking downstairs, and then and then the, the, you can't hear them because you're just hearing the game, and then you're caught. Whereas if you could have heard them, you could have shut off quickly and hid. Maybe you could just keep one headphone in. Anyways, that's the Joy Card Sensui SSS. Um, I picked this up mainly because I saw it for way more than what it was asked for. Uh, I saw a brand new one of these asked on Amazon for $70. Um, whereas on used on eBay, it's like $30 and up. And it is made in Japan even, too. By Hudson Soft. So that's interesting. But uh, this was 7 bucks, So that's why I picked it up. The next one is uh, this guy right here. It is the NES Advantage controller. I've always kind of wanted one of these because they're kind of cool. Now the NES was released kind of in the day of the arcades, glory day still, so not having one of these um, wouldn't make sense. So uh, that's why they have one. And it's actually kind of a neat um, system. Oh, and I forgot to mention, yes, there. these are turbo functions on here, so you do that and it has turbo depending on that so that's that's another thing on that as well as these one this has the turbo function as well which can actually become pretty useful in some any uh, NES games so that works by you know these are these don't just press click down they click down then click up and then it's depending on how much turbo you want on them you can adjust there big B big B and A buttons and over here we have um, player one and two, you can switch between. And there's select start, and then there's slow motion, which kind of does that. Let's see how much focus in on it for you. If we can do that. If it wants to focus, I don't know if it's going to. There it goes. See? It's clicked down, and it clicks up. That's how all these ones work like that. So that's that. This was actually pressed in um, when I plugged it in, and because of that, it caused me to think the cartridge. It wasn't reading the cartridge right, whereas it was just you know pressing like start over again and stuff. 
So it was kind of making the game not start properly, so I'm like, oh, goodness. And the reason 1 and 2 is there is because if you look on the cable, there is two ports, so you can switch between. So it's, it's an interesting concept, I'm not sure why, but uh, I've actually used this some games. This actually works really good with some games. Um, one of those games being, um, I think it's actually in the game in the card, uh, system right now, but it is Air Fortress. It's a great game for the uh, arcade stick. So that's that. Picked this one up for around seven bucks as well. And I don't think there's anything interesting. 1987, made in Taiwan. So that's that. This is another thing I picked up. This is an Atari Game Center. Um, basically, what this was is for the 2600. And inside here are all the little spots for the cartridges. Um, so you can stick all your little games in there and organize it. And you see it has the Atari logo there. You can't really get a good view of it because of the lighting. And the side. But it says Atari Game Center. Um, oops, I'm not trying to switch it over there. Hope that doesn't mess it up. Um, or the model number ORG700. 1982. That's that. That's where all the cartridges sit. And then up here, on the top, is where the 2600 would sit. And then you'd put your little cover over it. And that's that. I don't have a 2600, sadly. Um, I really wish I did. Or I'd put it in here if I did. Um, but uh, on the bottom, it says something interesting here. Um. I actually didn't even notice this before. Manufactured by ALS Industries Incorporation, a division of American Lighting Specialties. Torrance, California. So that's uh, an interesting bit. I picked this up because uh, this is actually more of a not-so-common 2600 accessory. Um, it's, it's branded officially, though. Um, but a complete set of this, like brand new one of these with everything in it, is more um, some pretty good money. Um, just this alone is worth about twenty some bucks, and I paid five for it, so that's why I picked it up. Uh, next thing is this. I picked up one of these. This is a Sega Genesis original, sixteen bit whatnot. I have a Genesis Model Two up there. I don't know if you can't see it. It's right next to my. Um, so, um, right next to the Dreamcast. It's black so you can't see it and it's kind of dark. But that's that's this. Um, I had one of these before but I sold it. Bad mistake on my part. But they had a bunch of these sitting there. And with all the cables and, and the controller, it was about, they were giving it for just over 20 bucks. This one was 7 bucks because it had nothing with it. And they had a big pile of them. And some of them were the high definition graphics uh, models. So I picked that one up. You can see it's got the extra EXT port there, which I'll have to get something for. But I already had the cables for it, so didn't need that. So, so that's why I picked up one of these, because I wanted an original model Genesis once again. And I thought it was cool because I could get the one with the high definition graphics. Along with that, I also picked up um, a controller. Oh, no, this is something completely different, because I'll talk about that now. I bought myself a Sega Saturn. I've always kind of wanted a Sega Saturn um, because I thought they were kind of neat. But I have, I'm not able to play this yet because I bought this on eBay. Just put in a bid for it, and I got it for 20 bucks. No cables or anything. And not, it was just just this. This is all it was. 20 bucks. Just this. Just the console with nothing. So I actually went to the local store. They are out of the cables. They have it once in a while. Um, but I went there recently and they were out again. Um, I'll have to call again. But they had the controller for it, so I picked up one controller. And I was looking through other games, and some were expensive because depending on how um, popular they are. But I picked up this one. This is a Thunder Strike. For the Saturn. There it is. Everything included with it. So that's cool. Go in there. Come on. So that's, so that's what I bought. Up. I'm really excited to get this thing playing now, as soon as I can get some cables for it. There it is with all the whatnots 
and the communication connector and then this spot which pops open and I think this is just access to the battery yep there it is I'll do a review on that when I get the stuff for it um, related to the Genesis I picked up these um, these are like two bucks each there's Capcom Fighter, Street Fighter and then there's Sonic Spinball um, this out of the way and go to the last thing that I picked up is one of these um, I don't remember, oh I bought this at Savers um, Savers is, if, if you have guys have a value village, it's the same brand uh, company as Savers and it's a thrift store basically There's about most of these things except for this and these I got at St. Vinny's they had a big video game blowout with that. It was a humongous pile. Maybe I'll put I'll put the picture in right now. Just look at that. Or no, I'm not gonna put the video in. I'm not gonna put the picture in. I'm sorry. I'm not editing this video. I forgot. I'm sorry. Sorry, I, I fooled you. But I'll put a link in the description so you get down there, and I'll show you the picture of the stuff, the pile of crap they had. It's not crap. It's awesome junk. It's not junk. It's awesome stuff they had. Um, at once. And eventually I also did a video tour of it. I'll upload that soon. The reason I'm not going to edit this is because I'm doing this from my phone and I'm actually going to upload this while I'm at work. Our Wi-Fi connection at work is uh, like 10 times faster than my home internet and the upload is faster than my download speed by far. So I'm going <laughs> to upload it while I'm working in my pocket and my phone. So that's why that's sad. But anyways, I got this at uh, Savers for I think 20, no, 10 bucks got this for 10 bucks and it included all the cables and a control and uh, controllers so that was cool it didn't include this i bought this at uh, st vinnie's with the big video game thing this they had a bunch of a box with a bunch of video cards from playstation ps2 dreamcast and n64 so i picked up one of these and it's got this little problem with the button sticking you can just got to slap it down there you go um so yeah I have a PS1, PS2, and PS3. Actually, two PS2s and two PS3s. So I got all the PlayStations. Except I don't have a mm, slim PS2 and slim PlayStation. But I don't care. There's, so that was my recent gaming pickup. So all this stuff. But yeah, and then I got this little uh, shelf that I got all the wires rigged up for. Like, see, so I got them all specifically placed for things. That's a specific place just for the Genesis because all the wires, you can't really see this, but they're all kind of wired to go uh, down the side here. You know, that's all of them, so that's kind of neat. But, uh, yeah, other than that, not too much now. So, thank you for watching, and hopefully this should be uploaded soon, because I'm just going to upload it tomorrow at work. Goodbye.